coming, Christy. Hey guys, Victoria here with Take the Lead, taking Christy on a structured walk right now. She's doing really well. Um, got her on a slip lead. We ditched the harness and the retractable leash. Um, that was doing nothing but encouraging her to pull and to be really far away and really disconnected from the person that she's walking with. Um, so with the slip lead, I'm just working on pressure and release with her. Um, she pulls ahead, she puts her nose down, starts sniffing, tries to pull into the grass, tries to chase something. Um, a little pressure on the leash to kind of get her back in the zone. And then this way she stays right by my side, doesn't lag too far behind, doesn't get too far to the side. Um, if she pulls ahead, she gets a little pressure again to come back to the side, um, you know, where she's healing. Um, and she's doing really well. You can see that the leash is loose. I'm, you know, just a couple fingers holding it, but the leash stays slack. Um, if she does pull ahead, give her a little pressure and she slows down, good girl. And she's actually starting to look now when she feels leash pressure. Where before, with the harness, she was just chugging along. She didn't really, didn't really pay much attention unless you physically pulled her body towards you. Then she'd turn because she'd get you in your, her sights. But right now, just a little bit of leash pressure is getting her attention, which is great. And this is going to help continue to make a connection between her and the person on the other end of the leash, which ultimately will make her more comfortable and a lot less anxious. So stay tuned for some more work with Christy. got a dog on the other side of the street, so we're going to see how she does. She, um, if you saw the video before, she was really reacting to the dog that she saw. Um, up until the point it was actually out of her sight, she was just still barking. So I want to kind of see if she will change her state of mind since she's in a new position. We've got new stuff going on with the leash. She's not so crazy and on her own and she's actually kind of under control. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> yes, so doing some training with our little guy that likes to bark at the big dogs. So I thought she's really friendly. She's actually really scared of big dogs. So she barks like a doofy to act all big and tough. But makes walking really difficult for her owners. Yeah, I know. No, this is the one I'm training. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. I own four of them. But we're doing a little before and after, if you remember this one was barking at your guy before. Oh, that's right. A lot better. A lot better. Thank you. You too.
Take care. Peace.